Well, the good news is it's only flat on that one side. Got the trailblazer fixed. $30 tire here. Onion skin brand. Uh, guaranteed at least 150 miles. Got the back cleaned out. Gonna load up a bunch of dead inventory and uh, my little death pile box. Now remember to me, a death pile is stuff that's not worth listing. So we're going to see if we can't get all that in here. Maybe take it up there the next day or two. Oh yes, yeah, so I guess I should mention those. Those are going. I thought I could use those in some of my nicer leather shoes. I thought they was adjustable. They're not. Uh, to sell these, you really need to either know the size or you, you need to have two or three pair together to sell it to somebody that's using it for decorations. So we're just going to redonate that. $2 down the drain. Hardback books. Probably got $3 in them. Uh, Dollar Tree shampoo. Didn't even bother listing it. Couldn't make money. Couldn't ship it and make money. Uh, so people have it listed. I mean, they got to be losing money every time they sell a bottle. But uh, I guess as long as they're churning money through the business, they don't really consider it. So anyway, yeah, that was a bad idea. Bad deal. Could never have bought it. But hopefully somebody else can use it. That was listed uh, outside. It was new sealed when I got it. It was listed as a black uh, cell phone holder. It mounts in a, a CD changer. Well, as you can tell, it's not black. And it's so weak that I put a rubber band on it to hold the phone. And it's just a it's just a pile. I'm glad I never sold it. I had it listed for months. So, glad I never sold that. Let's see what else we can find. I had bought quite a bit of uh, this sunscreen. I had uh, Australian gold, a few cans. I had a few cans of Hawaiian Tropic. I had a few cans. No, I had a, quite a quite a few cans of the large copper tone and about two thirds of a milk crate full of this small ones. And they were in the shed. Yeah, I know. Can't help it. They were in the shed during the summer. And they look like they've leaked. See, so see that on that. I haven't tried. I haven't tried to spray them or anything. I just pulled the listing. I'm gonna donate them. Uh, you saw those shoes. I showed you those shoes that's cracked. I got too many shoes. I wore them for a day or two and I don't I don't like the way they flop on my heel, so we're gonna let those go back. I I got excited, I saw these vintage Reebok, but the bottom was just as slick as a button. And I don't I don't I got too many other things to do rather than lift a pair of acceptable quality shoes just because they're vintage i may be passing up some money i may have should listed them i don't know it would take quite a bit of cleaning to do that so i'm just as i'm just as happy to leave that to somebody else these are some of my nephew's trading cards i pulled out some I pulled out some interesting looking NASCAR cards that came with Pop Weaver Pop Secret Popcorn. And I'm hoping that set might be worth something. But these were just beat up old baseball cards. So I, uh, I made a little baggie with my heat sealer. I had a, a leftover piece of baggie and I just used 
that and cut off that much more of it. And just put the cards in it, close it up, and then put it in the heat sealer. And there you go. It's ready, ready for retail sale. They can put 25 cent on that and stick it out on my shelf, and hopefully somebody buys it and does it instead of stealing it. But uh, yeah, that's where we are so far. Another box of hardback books. It's uh, about four o'clock. Starting to lose the light. Need to get in here and see how many more of these books we can cram in this car before it gets dark. One more bag of mixed hardbacks and paperbacks. One filter I bought for 50 cents. They're worth something if you have multiples, but just one isn't going to be worth selling. Another box of junk to redonate. See the toilet bowl, coffee cup. There's some uh, carousel horses. I was going to do a like a lot of carousel horses and a lot of teddy, teddy bear figurines, and they're just not worth it. They're they're cheap. You see the paint's messed up on that one. Uh, this is just plasticky. Uh, there's too many little nicks and things. So. It's just, it's just the value is not there. Shouldn't have never bought them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Call it, call it ten dollars there. It's probably closer to nine, but still, it was wasted money. But uh, it went to the church, so it went to a good cause. And maybe somebody will buy this again, and they'll get a little bit more money for it. Where were we? Uh, believe we had one bag in now we have uh, six more and I got these at Gimme at Five which is a place that sells uh, Amazon returns usually the ones that have been opened or whatever these are Fitbit fans uh, well compatible to Fitbit made in China and they're like most of them are the same they're selling for like three dollars and 17 cents for free shipping out of China I just I don't think it's gonna be worth it remember we saw those Fitbit bands for a dollar up at Walmart so uh, I think this might do it I haven't got any of the death pile in here yet just the hardback books here comes another car that's my little death pile right there. It's a little uh, small load box, 12 and 12 by 16. And I'm going to go through it one more time, to make sure there's, I'm not throwing away anything of a uh, tremendous value. But the first thing to go is going to be one more hardback book and. Uh, most of a small Walmart sack full of Fitbit bands. I guess there's some Apple Watch bands in there. All the unpopular colors and styles. So that's going to be going out in the truck. You see the crack? There's a hairline crack right down, down by its neck. You see it from the inside right there where the, right there where the point is. Goes all the way down. They're nice pieces. There's two of them. You want to wrap them up, redonate them. Uh, seven mouse pads. I had them up for sale for months for $7.99 free shipping. Nobody wanted them. It's a Dudley baseball glove. It's so old when I took it out of the pack, the paint on the glove stuck to the plastic on the package. Uh, it's a replacement basket for a laundry cart that's no longer made. I actually got that back in 2007 and couldn't sell it and sent it to my mother who kept it all these years and just now gave it back to me. Solar belt waist trimmer. It's just an elastic band. Sucks your gut in. I looked at that and I said that's 
That's vintage. Somebody's going to want that. Uh, dirt daubers had got into it and built a nest along the, the blue plushie. I cleaned it best I could. It still, it wouldn't pass muster. So it, it's going back. I'm not sure if I got that at the thrift store with the dirt dauber nest in it or if I bought that. There was a there was a sale at a barn last summer where I got a bunch of stuff that had dirt dauber nest. Anyway, that's going back. Don't know what it cost. Wouldn't have been much. This was a, a gimme. Has no value. Camera. Uh, this is a floor puzzle. If it was new sealed, it'd be worth a little something. It's not. And it's not. What kind of weird ass glove is this? Anyway, got a set of those. Got these little vintage Timex watches that I was going to donate, but now that I have other watches, I may end up making, putting those in a lot. Uh, I'm looking up each of these items as I, as I get ready to re-donate it. And this, I don't know why this made it into the box to start with, but this is a $14 V-belt. And it's brand new. So, I'm going to keep that. I've sold these. In fact, I sold every one that came with this one. I didn't sell this one because the foils peeled back. So, I didn't sell that one. We'll donate that. That's a mini water hammer arrester. Uh, the good ones are made by Sue Chief. This is not a good one. It's a cheap one. One of them's worth next to nothing after you ship it. Uh, two or three of them would be worth something. But one, I'm probably going to end up throwing that in my brass pile. This is back when I was buying stuff blind. I didn't have a phone to look stuff up on. This is a antique video game. A blip. It's a, a rip off a of pong and it's missing the battery compartment. It works, but uh, its value is very, very minimal. I think I paid a dollar for it. There's some odd power supply. Maybe one of you will recognize it. That wasn't important. Uh, I looked up these numbers, couldn't find anything. Takes the two, two prong here, and a weird looking three prong on that end. Anyway, I guess I could knock that apart for what little bit of scraps in it, but uh, I'm not going to. Got several of these handles. Uh, I haven't looked these up. It seems like an item you get a lot of returns on. Did get the wrong kind. Each one's just a little different. They got either splines or a square or a slot or a whatever you call a cylinder with two flat sides. It just seems like it might be a, a hassle. Of course, they are aluminum, so I guess I could throw them in the old recycle bin. Uh, filters are generally worth picking up, especially name brand GE, Whirlpool, Kenmore, etc. etc. This is an off brand, it's worth picking up. You see how it says compatible, right? These are the good brands where it's worth picking up just one filter. But this brand, you need to have them in like three packs or, or more. And this is just one single filter, so it's not worth selling individually. What you heard fall a while ago is this thing. It's a uh, Bosch. 
air conditioner dryer out of a European vehicle, uh, most likely a Mercedes BMW. Uh, I want to say Porsche for this. I'm not sure you'd find this in a Porsche. Anyway, it's the air conditioning thing. The thing about this, all I got to look it up by is that number right there. And you can find this item with 7,000 variations. Each one of these tabs can be mounted in a different way. This nozzle part can be pivoted in any direction. It's yes, welded, right? But I'm saying that there's a, a, a million uh, mutations of this. And it's hard to find this exact one. I wasn't able to do it. I went through, I don't know, six, seven, eight, nine hundred listings looking for the one that looked like this one because the number wouldn't get me enough specific information. And I couldn't find it. And I finally gave up. I got less than a nickel into it if if I could find what it went to it'd be a $65 piece got a Tennessee puzzle with uh, bent pieces it's from 1982 it's non interlocking uh, so every time you bump the puzzle board the whole thing goes sliding across uh, quite a few of them on eBay, just not bringing the money. Uh, a venometer from when I used to make wine. Uh, turns out that's just really, it's supposed to tell you the amount of alcohol in wine, but it does a really piss poor job of it. Uh, fluorescent light repair kits. Uh, some kind of iPad cord. A uh, phone, I mean a, a phone, <laughs> a, a uh, watch band for a Garmin watch, uh, G.I. Joe Cobra Hiss tank, about that big, uh, some bed sheets to hold the sheets on the bed, I already got two packages, I, I feel I can donate that, a uh, micro shield for a iPod Nano, I had that thing listed for a year or more at just barely over what it would cost to ship it and nobody wants it a really 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 cheap elbow support uh, a case for an iphone 7 we are done let the haul back commence we're going to drag all this stuff up to the uh thrift store and redonate it appreciate you going through it with me Man, Mountain Link has once again totally outdone himself. Oh, that's the wrong button. Yes, let's record this instead of doing pictures. We'll just make a video. Please buy my color silk.